Hello, this is Dharma from DTR Media Works. Today I'm here with a quick tutorial on how we can achieve this uh, low poly fur effect with wind. So this is a character from my previous short film that I released a month back. If you haven't watched it, please go ahead and watch. The link is in the description below. So after the short film is released, many of my colleagues, friends, even some free people from online, they said they really liked uh, the fur effect on this lion. And some of them even asked how I achieved it. So here is how. Okay, uh, here is uh, the model of the lion with some textures on it. And we also have uh, an empty in the scene which will be you uh, which will be using to drive uh, the wind effect and i will cover that at the end of the tutorial uh, the first thing will be to define the fur area so that uh, we can just uh, put that effect on that fur area the way to do that is to go to uh, the data panel and uh, add a vertex group name it So with this vertex group selected, I'm going into the weight paint mode. So the idea here is to weight paint the fur area or the area where we want that wind effect or the fur wind effect. And uh, we will use the same vertex group in the modifier stack to drive that effect. So uh, I'm going to paint it. Okay, I'm done with my weight painting of the fur. So as you can see, I haven't painted the entire fur with the same weight. I tried to weight different parts at different areas with different weight. This is because I wanted a little bit of randomness even in the FX. So it's up to you because anyways, we'll be using a cloud texture which will have uh, the various intensity values. So once you are satisfied or once you are done with your weight painting, just go back to your object mode. Now with the object selected, uh, let us uh, just add a displacement modifier, uh, the displace modifier. So right now this is affecting the entire uh, model to uh, we can add the vertex group that we have uh, created just now. So this displace modifier will only uh, you know affect the area which we weight painted in this vertex group now the next thing is to create a texture map so let's create a texture so select uh, clouds now for this one uh, this cloud grain size is a bit low uh, it's it's very low so let's increase it okay uh, this seems good to me so now uh, go back to the displace modifier now we will control the texture coordinates of this texture with an object right now it is set to local change to the object and that object is the empty that i already have added okay so the idea here is we are changing the texture coordinate based on the position of this object so when I grab and move it, yeah, here you can see the effect. We already got that effect, but I, I think that effect is too much. So I'm trying to reduce the strength of it. And let's see if it is looking good. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, uh, this is how I achieved this effect to actually uh, to get this wind effect while animating i added an expression on this empty so uh, i will just give a demonstration about that let's let's say the wind is coming in the y direction then uh, i i'm going to the transform dot y i'm writing frame multiplied by 0.1 so it is taking every frame and multiplying it with 0.1 to give the value and yes this is that effect 
so thank you very much this is all about it so uh, don't forget to watch the short film the link is in the description below and if you really like this video please uh, like and uh, spread a word because i'm just starting out and more such content are on the way and thank you very much